Hello everybody, I just wanted to make a quick video for anybody who's finding counting in threes quite tricky. There's a few things that we've done in school that you could practice at home. And the first thing we would normally do in school is do our click counting. So you say a number with each click and then say the third number out loud. So you would go three, six, nine, twelve. And if you keep practicing that, um, hopefully you'll be able to get to the stage where you just click and you don't need to say the number. You can do it in your head and say the third number out loud. Um, and here I've just put the numbers on post-it notes and laid them out. Um, just done the numbers up to six just now. And then just take every third one and make a new line up above. Um, and if you do that for the numbers then obviously you can count in your jumps 3, 6, 9, 12 um, and learn your 3 times tables that way. So and another thing you can do is make little collections of 3 things. Now you can do this with anything in the house that you can find. Um, you can make collections of 3's and then count them and then on here I've just written the number beside each group of three so I've counted one two and then written three four five and written six so I'm actually counting in ones to start off with and then building up to count in threes another easy way to do it these are just closed pegs on the line and I've just organized them into groups of three to make a pattern with the different colors and then you can practice counting them now this is just the 100 square and the children use this in school all the time so they're used to these and I just did a Google search to find this, this 100 square and then I'm just um, circling every third number and in school we would talk about the patterns that this makes so we're missing out two and circling every third and then looking at the patterns. Right Carla, can you squeak three times? One, two, three. Get it. Three times, that's two. Three times. 